Now, stop me if you have heard this one before. Once upon a while ago, there was a fisherman's puppet, carefully made by hand. The puppet lived a simple life inside a modern lighthouse, with everything in its place. And every day began the same way when he brushed his wooden teeth. Well, if you don't think wooden teeth need brushing, you've never had a cavity and a splinter at the same time. <laughs> Next, he put a log inside his little stove to warm things up. <sighs> nice and warm, safe from the store. Next, he would take his duster and carefully dust his lucky seashell over there on the shelf. There. <coughs> the shell reminded him of the sea when it was calm. Next, the fisherman would open wide his window to check the weather. Quiet sea tonight. Ah. Finally, and most important, every day he would work on his latest model. There, in the center of the room, a perfect model of his own little lighthouse, exact in every detail. It was nearly finished too. Only two pieces needed to be added to the replica. The little model cabinet, and the final section of the wall. Yes! Good. Now, the final touch. A tiny puppet of himself to put inside. There. Lucky this model snapped together. Now the little puppet could go in its... Tired out from his routine, the fisherman would rest his aching wooden bones in his own rocking chair and go to sleep. And dream of models. Safe inside, where the smell of paint and glue was always fresh, where the world was simple and snapped together, the puppet would follow his routine, brush his wooden teeth, dust his lucky shell and work on his model. Worlds within worlds, walls within walls, closing out the storm so it could never reach inside. Until one night, something changed. Fishman fishing season has begun and stocks are looking thin again this year. We all know there's a big catch waiting out there somewhere, but hold your hauling lines. Reports are saying a huge storm is blowing in. It might be nothing, but better safe than salvage, I always say. Coming up next, another hour of thrilling nautical news after these Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here.
But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. some air. He had to find a way to pry off the boards. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this for a long time. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room. A replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu! If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse? In the model of his own room? It was all there inside the model. Exact in every detail. But the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just, just who was pulling all the strings? Just in here, listeners, a general alert to all lighthouses. In spite of all of our thrilling up-to-the-minute warnings, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Lighthouse keepers, make sure your lights are shining bright. I repeat, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. The lighthouse. The world might be folding in on itself, but only one thing mattered now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey! Hey, you! Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet! Yeah, you with the strings! Over here! On the shelf! Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt... Uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him. And very rudely too. So he did not feel so great. You test me every day and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit cop, Sonny. And you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh. And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The... the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddler crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? If you can't find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, just this once, we will be brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, 
Where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? How does it look? Does it look uh, dashing? Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Now, there. <laughs> now, put it around my shell. So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be uh, brave. Now, just let me get out of this damn shell. <coughs> Phew, breezy. I feel so much lighter, and the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this. I'll help you open the door, so you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I... That will do. All right, are you ready? Me too, I... Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? Farewell, shipmate. I won't forget what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness. And already he could hear the storm rising outside. Fans, and remember, no catch is worth risking life and limb, even if it is the biggest, richest... The biggest fish Papa ever caught. The fisherman had spent all his life trying to learn a catch as big as that. Well, don't you look like a tall drink of... <coughs> water. <coughs> it was still alive. This went against everything he had learned. He had to get the fish some water. This section of wall seemed loose. Of course, he had forgotten to glue this part of the model. It was only held on with two latches. Must find some water for the poor creature. No water in the tap. You 
might say they were natural enemies, the fish and the fisherman, but he could not let it die of there. Now the water would flow. Success. Too much, too much success. Water flooded into the model. Quick, hold your breath. The water closed over him and the memories came flooding back. The coolness, the darkness, the ocean tossing and turning him like a, like a rag doll. But wait a minute, puppets can't drown. No, a bit of water wouldn't stop this fisherman. It seemed Papa had forgotten food. to feed his stuffed Is fish. There food out here? <laughs> there must be food. Food. Who are you, oh noble fish? And do you know how to reach the top of the lighthouse? The fisherman asked. I'm a big-eyed tuna. My eyes are even bigger than my stomach. And if you want to go upstairs, my little amusement, well, you'll have to feed me first. Hmm. There must be food out here. Nothing? I'll starve. Any second now, I shall succumb to hunger. If only you find me some food. These would do. It's a fish at fish world after all. But how to open the can? They smelled mm, vintage, but a stuffed fish could hardly be picky. <laughs> Chew on that. Bone. It's stuck in my throat. What next? It seemed the fish had choked on its own appetite. And also a fish bone. Oh. He had to climb inside the mouse. The fisherman was afraid. Now, there was the bone of contention. Oh. Thank you, fisherman. I... I could not get it off, you know. I wanted more, always, like an obsession. But you, Legiland walkers, we don't know anything about that. Of course, you have everything, don't you? Well, what could the puppet say to that? Now, I must repay you. The key to the tower door is outside. I saw a huge figure hide it near the mirror a long time ago. Outside? I'm certain it was around here. Climb on in. <gasps> Welcome aboard, Fish Flight 123. Please keep your arms inside the mouse at all times and no splinters, please. Hmm. Hold your seat, sir. There was plenty of legroom, but the view left something to be desired. And there was a distinct smell of. Oh, yes, sardines. Here we are, my 
on your step. Go get them, little morsel. The key is up there. The key was too high. He needed something. Uh, perhaps back in the lighthouse, there might be something he could use. The fish was around the mirror when it was trying to show where the key was. Perhaps back in the lighthouse? Thank you for helping me, the fisherman said. Of course, you helped me see that there is more to life than the largest moss pool. Sometimes a smaller morsel is sweeter, juicier and more delectable. I hope you reach the top of the tower. The door opened. The lighthouse tower waited. The fisherman had begun to think that he had all the answers. But he would soon realize he had bitten off maybe more than he could chew. Come in, troller. Come in, troller. If you can hear us, return to port immediately. I repeat, return to port immediately. 